Hi everybody! Today's video is going to be a requested video and it was requested quite a while ago so I'm really sorry I've only just got round to it but round about Christmas time I think it was in my December videos I showed this whip which is still a whip I'm afraid <laughs> and uh, I was asked how I went about doing these clouds and uh, I thought today I'd show you the colours I used how I did those clouds I'm going to be showing you in this book this is Spirit Animals by Bolson and uh, I'm going to be showing you in the background of these this lady and her swan and these background circles were originally plain and I've drawn in some clouds and I hope they look sort of the same as what were in this picture it's, these ones were already there but I've drawn in these ones and you can see some of them had like the thick outline drawn around them where I did the silver gel pen so I've tried to add a few of those as well and just done a few clouds in the background there and I've done this one earlier because I wanted to check I was I'd figured out which were the right colours to be using and I think I have if they're not the exact colours they're very similar so you can pick your own pencils with similar colours or try a different colour combination if you like but these were the ones that I used for that picture as far as I can tell I'm going to be showing you on this one here and you can see I've sketched in a few kind of cloud shapes in the background there something similar to the dragon picture hopefully just to show you how I did it and these were the main colours that I used. It was Castle Arts pencils. These are the colours I was using. You can see there, that is Spiced Red 025 GP. That's Coral Deep 175 GP. Light Peach 188 GP. And Naples Yellow Light 073 GP. And on this page, is that page there, I mean, on this paper, it's kind of an off-white paper, so I was using it as well my polychromos white just to add a bit of white around the edges because the paper I was originally working on was white and I have the ivory black as well that I've done a very tiny little bit in the shadows of the ivory black but here we go yeah this is how I was doing my clouds now starting off with the the light peach I'm just doing a very light layer of that because I want the blend to be pretty smooth so I was trying to keep my layers pretty light and on these pictures as well I'm trying to make both the pictures kind of similar to make it a double page spread so I'm keeping the light source in the middle so for my lady it will be coming from top right for this one it will be coming from top left so my clouds I want to be lighter towards this middle area here Just to carry on the the light kind of source trying to keep it in the right place this time not make any mistakes so yeah i'm keeping my my layers more concentrated towards the right hand side because that's where it would be more shadowy if i want to keep my light source towards the middle of the page so yeah that's my light peach I'm leaving quite a big gap up here to, by the edge of the cloud because I'm going to be edging the clouds with kind of a Naples yellow which is to give the effect of the sunlight. I would imagine they're clouds kind of sunset, sunrise or clouds with the peachy reddy pink clouds and then the yellow light. I'll just do this one down here as well because that's where my silver gel pen kind of outlines would come in just to show you how those work there we go I'll leave that like that as, as always you can come back and work back into it if you think it needs more towards the end and this is the coral deep 175 that's my second layer not coming quite up as far as I went with the peach I'm trying to give a more kind of pinky shade to it
trying to show there's more of the pink colour towards this right side because that's the shady area of the clouds. Bit of a layer of pink down on this bottom one here as well. There we go, and those colours I was sort of blending together with Naples yellow light and giving kind of a yellow edge to the clouds as well. Going over the layers I've already done to show the yellowish tint of the sunlight. And blending these two layers together. Don't push it. Like I've said before, you can go over, show more of peach or more of a pink if that's what you're, if that's what you're looking for. Getting closer to the tops of the clouds there in the shaded side. Same here, but I think this time I might come right to the top of the cloud. For the very bottom of the cloud, I'm using the Spice Red 025. Okay, I'm not going too far up with this one. It's just kind of a little touch of the red in the bottom there. And there we go. And that's basically to show where our where our kind of colours would go, the base layers. And like I've said before, I'm not the best at layering. I don't know if I do it right or <laughs> if I should really be recommending to do this, but this is how I would do it. Back in with the Coral D, the kind of pinky peach colour. Strengthening that coral layer. I'm trying to show that this side of the cloud is the side that would be in shadow, so oh. I do apologize the neighbors are being noisy, I'm sorry. And there you go, working over the usual kind of blending, layering. again to the light peach
and the Naples yellow for that kind of creamy, creamy yellow edge to the clouds. a little more of that red. Especially on this side where our shady part of the clouds are going to be. Around the edge of this cloud at the bottom. This just so the contrast between the two clouds. Might do a little bit more of the deep coral there to work in that red a bit more. No idea where that mark's come from, but let's blend it in. Yeah, all part of the clown now. Huh? And as I said, because this paper is kind of an off-white colour, I was using the white to go, this is Polychromos White 0101. I was just using this to go around the edges of the clouds and for a bit of extra blending. Yeah, we're going right down in the very bottom corners, in the very shady parts. I was using a tiny touch of black. And again, blending that out. Our edge here has become a little bit messy, but that's going to be gone over with silver gel pen, which should cover the pencil, so don't worry about that. Yeah. 
this is the coral again I'm just working into my layers there a little bit more and this cloud as you can see that one hasn't been layered as much so let's go back into that one and bring him up Again, our shadow is going to be down this side of the cloud, so we'll make our shading darker down there. Keep red. And just blend your colours out with more, more layers. For a smoother blend, you can go over with white or a blender pencil, but of course, there's no need to at all. So, I'll just work into this one a little bit so I can show you how it looks when I do the white gel pen outline so I'll just add a few layers behind this cloud here And a little bit of that black. Blending that up. Just take that into the peach quickly and then go over with the white gel pen just to see how doing that white outline affects it and then I might carry on and finish the rest of these clouds and just speed that up for anyone who's interested in the rest of the process.
Okay, that'll do for now. And as I said, these edges, these edges were gone over with a white gel pen. kind of thicker outlines I just went over with a, a silver this is silver glitter gel pen uh, it does have a, a brand on it that's the brand <laughs> I got them from the pound shop here in the UK so I haven't seen them for a couple of years though so these are very old gel pens any kind of silver gel pen if you were following this this kind of color scheme should work and it covers the pencil so any slightly messy edges can be quickly covered up there okay that's that's how I did my clouds I'll just go ahead and finish off these clouds behind the swan in case there's anybody who's interested in the whole process. The same four colours, same kind of layering process, as many layers as you want, as little layers as you want.
So there we go, that's how I coloured my sunset clouds for my dragon picture. Um, I have gone a little bit darker on this one around where the swan is going to be, but that's because I'm planning on making these edges of the feathers with white gel pen and hopefully that will make that a bit of a contrast going on there once I finish the actual picture. I have left, you'll see I've left these edges of the clouds without going over them with gel pen because I'm going to be working on the sky and colouring that maybe blue or purple. Hopefully it hasn't gotten too dark for you guys, it's looking a bit overcast out there right now. We have been forecast snow but I'm not holding my breath because we never get snow down in Cornwall. I hope the lighting is held up and you've been able to see what I was doing and thank you for watching. Take care everyone, see you in future videos. Bye.